La fuerza, ilusión. Uh, we're not live yet, so you know, we can talk about whatever, you know, tell dirty jokes or whatever. And so we're not live yet, so we can do all that. Once I go live, it's a family show. But I gotta go live first. Then we'll be a family show. Ow! There we go, San Antonio's very own La Fuerza Illusion. Good morning, Double R Radio, live on Facebook right now. Good morning, everybody. How we doing? The day after Christmas. Man, have I got a story for you guys? You don't want to go anywhere, man. I've got a story for you guys, man. I got a story that, <laughs> anyways, what time is it? 8.30 in the morning. You know, I screwed up this morning doing the morning show. I kept on saying, good Wednesday morning. Woohoo! I think I still even have it on Facebook. I haven't changed it yet. Man, still shaking the Christmas cobwebs here, man. Crazy. It really, really is. Anyways, into some good morning shout-outs. Uh, good morning shout-out. Good out to Maru Flores. Good morning, good morning. Gloria de Leon Daniel. Buenos dias. Al de Luna. How you doing, brother? There we go. Michelle Cohen. There we go. Good morning, good morning. Sylvia Solis. Buenos dias. Mike Maracalo. Buenos dias. Anyways, it's the, it is Thursday morning, and, uh, well, hopefully everybody had a very, very Merry Christmas, you know, with the... Friends and the family and the family and the friends and the grandbabies and the babies and all that other good stuff. It's the, uh, I had a great, great Christmas Eve, man. I really, really did, man. All my family was there. And nothing like having your family around you to celebrate it's the Christmas. And then even more so the grandbabies as well. Just uh, It's just a joy. To me, uh, children always enhance Christmas. They really, really do. Anyways, I tell you what. Let's see what's going on out here, man. I've got a story for you guys. Don't you go anywhere. I need to talk to you about a story here that happened to me yesterday, and uh, well, let's see here. Well, let's see. Let's let's see here. What do we want to do first? Let's go here first. Check this out. Did you know? I'm going to give you all a terrible fact. Did you know that over 100,000 dogs die yearly because they're riding in the back of a pickup truck? Haven't you ever seen that? Where you see a pet, a dog, whatever in the back of a pickup truck and they're going down the highway or the road and you see the dog all happy on the side of the truck, right? Over 100,000 dogs die yearly because of this. Why, why do owners insist on putting their animals in the back of a pickup truck? I can remember back in the day when my dad had a pickup truck we used, to all, we used to all sit on the tailgate. Remember the tailgate of a pickup truck? We used to sit on the tailgate. And he'd go real slow, but we'd be on the, on the tailgate, you know, the drive-in, or just going from here to there quickly. You know, but, but, you know, and our dad would say it was okay. Maybe he was trying to get rid of us. We just didn't know. I don't know. Good morning, Chad. I got it to Irving Ordeales. Good morning, good morning. Double R Radio sponsor, Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California. Good morning, California in the casa. Now, check this out. Another crazy story. Um, a Colorado man robbed a bank. And uh, right after he got the money in the bank, he threw the money up in the air and yelled, Merry Christmas. <laughs> kind of crap is that, man? You can't make up stories like this. For somebody to go rob a bank, right? Gets the money in the bag, pulls it out, throws it up in the air and says, Merry Christmas. Woohoo! I wish I would have been there, man. I would say, hey, Merry Christmas when I'm picking up the money. He's going to take the hit, not me. I didn't rob the bank. I just found money on the floor. That's all I did. I'm going to take this money home with me. Anyway, <laughs> crazy right now. Check this out. Katy, Texas, right there by Houston. Check this out. A Texas barbershop worker was shot over a child's haircut. How crazy is this, right? Deputies are looking for a man who shot an employee of a barbershop in the Houston suburb of Katy during an argument. As the uh, witness said that the argument was over a haircut given to a man's son. Wow, the lead shooter left the barbershop in a gray four-door sedan. And, uh, well, the, uh, they're looking for a man in a gray four-door sedan and a little kid with a bad haircut. <laughs> I know it's not funny. I don't know, but I'm just saying, man. Hey, you know, for somebody to take it that personal and to go and shoot a barber because of a bad haircut, man, they must be having a bad day. Man, 
Well, anyway, I mean, good morning, Shara Garza, Mary Gutierrez, good morning, good morning, Debbie Rodriguez, good morning, Janet Lopez Mauricio, the South Side of the Casa, good morning, Janet, Tony Gloria Guerrero, to be in Austin, Texas, good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, I'm gonna, you know, let me tell you what happened to me yesterday, man, and I'm not making this up either. Um, <laughs> you're probably going, you're making it up, Robert? No, I'm not making this up. This happened to me, this is all true. Um, let me see where I got to get. We're right there. We're good. Uh, let me do one more here just to be on the safe side. And we're good because I'm going to go ballistic here. Okay. Now, this is what happened to me. Good morning, Chanel. Come to Mary Jane Barrientes, Corpus Christi, Texas in the house. Good morning. It's the anyways. Uh, let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. As we all know, I do my celebrating, my Christmas celebrating. I do it on Christmas Eve. Simple, right? All my family, my grandbabies, food. Beer, the whole works, right? Great. So Christmas Day to me is kind of like, I know it's Christmas, but it's kind of like, okay, I did my Christmas celebrating, so it's kind of like another day in a sense. Now, we all know it's Christmas, and what happens in Christmas, everybody, good morning, good morning, everybody, it's the, uh, a lot of restaurants are closed. Tons and tons of them are closed. We all know there's only certain ones. As I was doing the Uber thing yesterday, I was kind of seeing who was open, who was closed. And I noticed Burger King was open. Um, Sonic was open. A couple of McDonald's were open. Uh, Jack in the Box were open. Luby's was open. Now that's where I want to get you, right there. Luby's. And let me tell you why. Um, I got some coffee. I finished doing the Uber thing around 4 o'clock, 4.30, right around there somewhere, right? And I already had a game plan. I hadn't eaten all day. So I said, I'm going to go by Texas Ice House, go have two or three beers, you know, put a couple of quarters in the jukebox. Around 5.30 or 6, I'll go to Luby's, have myself a turkey dinner, and that will be that, man. I'll, I'll be good to go, right? Well, I had my three or four Shiner box. I get to Luby's, okay, around... 5.30, 5.45, safe time, that's what I thought. Well, I get to Luby's, and I noticed that a lot of people were walking out, and I said, well, I'm catching a good time because the parking lot's pretty much empty, right? So I get to the door, and, and it won't open. Try it again, it won't open. They're closed, and I said, what the hell? And I see a sign that said, we will close at 5 p.m. today. So I said, well, man, I, I was really looking forward to Luby's, but it is what it is, so I said, that's okay, I'm just going to go up per and bottle, there's a lot of taquerias, some of these Mexican restaurants stay open on Christmas, they don't care, they want to make money, right, hey, <laughs> good morning, Chad, I'm going to to Robert Gomez, good morning, Tokayo, now, here's where the kicker comes in, no lie, I think I passed at least five or six Chinese restaurants trying to find one taqueria open, and all the Chinese restaurants were open. I'm sure every Chinese restaurant that I passed was open. I said, man, these Chinese people, they could care less about Christmas. They want money, <laughs> right? But I wasn't in the mood for Chinese. I was being picky. I could have settled for a hamburger, right? <laughs> right? So, I mean... I'm trying to find a place that's open, and I said, worst comes to worst, as I'm going up Perm Bidal, I'll get to uh, Topper Wine Road, and I'll just cut across, and I'll go to Danny's. I know Danny's is open, uh, right there on 35, and Topper Wine, so worst comes to worst. So I'm going up Perm Bidal, Chinese restaurant. We open! Guy with a sign out there. Then I pass another Chinese restaurant about half a mile down the road with another sign. We open also. I said, man, these Chinese restaurants, man, they're all open. I don't want Chinese. So anyways, I keep on going another two miles. Another guy with a Chinese sign saying, saying we open. We got plenty lemon chicken. We got plenty lemon chicken. And I go, man, I'm going to be forced to eat Chinese food when I don't want it. So... I don't find one taqueria open, all true. So I get to the Denny's on 35 and Topper Wine. I get there, right? And I'm going to tell you, man, there were cars all over the place. And I said, even if I find a parking, even if I go and sit down, 
How long is it going to take me to get my food at Denny's with all these people? And let me, I'm going to give you all some good advice, and this is very, very true. The last thing you want to do is go eat at a restaurant on Christmas Day where you know they've got pissed off employees. These employees didn't want to work on Christmas, didn't want to be there, but they're there because they want to keep their jobs. Do you really want to be served by an employee, a waiter, a waitress, a cook at a restaurant who's pissed off because they're having to work Christmas Day? I don't think so. Good morning, Chad. I got to Amy. Bad. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I started thinking about it and I said, you know what? I got plenty of food at home. I don't have to be lazy. <laughs> I'll just go make some papa at home, man. Get it over with. Because really, think about it. The last thing you want to do is go to a Jack in the Box, a Burger King, places that are open like that, and you see this long look on her face, right, when you get to the counter, a pissed off look, like we don't want to be here kind of a look. And I got to tell you, man, all these fast food restaurants, there were long lines of cars, man, all over the place. And I said to myself, I don't want to get in that long line, man. And I understand it's Christmas Day, but I said, if I don't want to be in the long line, I'll just come home. And make myself some papa, quit being lazy, and that will be that. And that's what I did. After one hour of circling around and seeing all these Chinese restaurants that were open, I could have eaten Chinese food. I said, man, I don't feel like eating Chinese food on Christmas Day. So, <laughs> so I just came home. <laughs> I came home and I made some shrimp gumbo and had two more Shiner Bots. And there you go. And that was that. But really, take some good advice here, man. Next Christmas, you know, <laughs> whenever you can't find a place open, make your pop at home. Because the last thing you want is for an employee, a cook, to be all pissed off because they're having to work Christmas Day. And, you know, really, man, because you can go in there. <laughs> you can go in there, man, and go, um... Let me have one now. Well, let me have one that's the Burger King burger, or Whopper burger, right? Remember Whopper burger, whatever price. And the cook's all pissed off. Oh, see, Commodore. Yeah, I got to work Christmas Day. and see. Really, man, you don't know what they're going to do to your hamburger. You don't. <laughs> hey, man, you got a disgruntled, pissed off employee at a place. You don't know what they're going to do to it. They put in un moco or no, no, no. <laughs> really? You don't want that. <laughs> so, good advice. Hey, man, next time it's Christmas Day and you can't find a place, just make some dinner at home and make sure you're going to get something you want because the last thing you want is to have some pissed off cook employee, man, that doesn't want to serve you because they're working Christmas Day. And uh, <laughs> uh, just have some food at home. That's what I did, man. I, you know. I came to the conclusion I wasn't meant to go out to eat on Christmas Day, man. That That's just the way it is. I could have stopped by Sonic, too. Sonics were open. But like I said, you don't want to be served by a pissed off employee. No, you don't. Anyways, it's the, um, do not forget New Year's Eve. Um, what is that? Next Tuesday, New Year's Eve, I'll be live in a living color from 9 p.m. all the way to midnight. Let's bring in 2020 together. That's right. It's going to be one mean mother, man. That's New Year's Eve. I'll be live from 9 p.m. all the way to midnight. Let's bring in 2020 together. Let's keep it going. Who do I got here queued up? Uh, da, ba, da. I know who I got queued up. Grupo Vida. Good morning, Double R Radio.